How's it going, everybody? Cameron Harris, Canadian Gamer. Hope you're all having a great rest of your Monday, Monday night, wherever you are, headed into Tuesday. Just a short, quick video here. I finally saw the end of Titanfall 2 today. Uh, gosh, it's been taking me over a month to beat this game, and it's only a, <laughs> a small single-player campaign. Well, to me, it felt like a long campaign, to be honest with you. I gotta say, this is probably the best $10 I ever spent on a video game. Extremely impressed with this game. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into it as far as, you know, what the game consists of. A lot of you guys have probably already played this game. But, you know, I was surprised, sort of, maybe not surprised, but uh, to read up on the game a little bit after I beat it. And the game... Uh, I think it was inspired by Half-Life. It does use a modified version of the Source engine. And you can really tell when you play the game. It just looks absolutely incredible. Uh, one of the key functions in the game, you're able to wall run, I guess you could call it, wall jump. So you run right across a wall, and your, your character is basically like sideways. And then you can jump off the wall. You can double jump off the wall and jump onto another wall and continue running. One of the best first-person shooters that I have ever played. I wasn't crazy on the story, but it didn't matter. The single-player campaign, to me, that's the bread and butter of this game. I don't play multiplayer. Uh, you know, it's no secret. Uh, the develop developers of this team, Respawn, uh, they were, I think, contemplating doing a Titanfall 3. Now, there was a little-known game called Apex Legends, that was released uh, shortly after this game came out. It was kind of like a Battle Royale spinoff. And, uh, you know, Respawn kind of pumped the brakes on Titanfall 3. So, much like Half-Life 3, we may never see a Titanfall 3. And that's a crying shame. Uh, even when you beat this game, spoiler alert, there's a little bit of a, I would say, a teaser for a sequel. And again, it doesn't look like we're ever going to get that, sadly, because uh, Respawn's main focus is Apex Legends. So this game, like I said, it was the difficulty was just right on this game for me. Uh, the only issue, the only hiccup I had was some of the audio, specifically the voice, the voice acting, the voiceovers. Uh, cut out from time to time so that was a little bit flaky uh, other than that though the music was incredible uh, the controls easy to pick up and play uh, the level design was great as well no complaints whatsoever just an all-around great game I think a lot of the uh, or at least some of the uh, members of the dev team uh, formerly worked on some of the Call of Duty games as well and the shooting mechanics are just spot on on this game incredible accuracy again i'm not kidding guys this is one of the best first person shooters at least as far as a single player campaign is that i've ever played uh you know that's saying a lot you know my favorite first person shooter game it's no secret is doom 3 uh i did pick up uh doom self-titled the 2016 reboot for the original for the xbox one excuse me uh, I had been playing that a couple of months ago, and uh, I sort of walked away from it. This game here, Titanfall 2, uh, it hooked me right from the beginning, and uh, I never let my foot off the gas pedal, even though it took me over a month to beat this game. <laughs> so, in conclusion, if you see, you know, the cover art of this game, and you look at it kind of like I looked at it, you know, you're like, ah, this is not something I would ever enjoy. Don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, it's an it's a very competent first person shooter, and uh, it's a very entertaining single player campaign. You know, there's kind of like a little bit of Paul Verhoeven RoboCop uh, in this game as well. Uh, there's a lot of there's there's some great comedic undertones as well. Uh, speaking of Paul Verhoeven, uh, one of the greatest. Achievements I've ever seen in a video game uh, was in this game where you fight a boss named Richter and then after you beat Richter, you get the achievement, see you at the party. So if you guys don't know what that's in reference to, 
then maybe you shouldn't be subscribed to this channel. <laughs> See you at the party, Richter! <laughs> so with that being said, I would absolutely recommend this game. Again, the best $10 I ever spent. Will I ever go back and play it again? I don't know. Uh, apparently there was some additional content that was provided by Respawn. I don't know if it was for the single player campaign or not. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. Again, just a blast. I would probably give this game a 10 out of 10, maybe a 9 out of 10. Uh, and again, hopefully someday we do see a sequel. That would be absolutely incredible. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I have been out of town for the last couple days. I just got back in yesterday. Uh, I was on a little bit of a road trip again. And I did a little bit of game hunting as well. So look forward to that video tomorrow. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.